guys, I'm Jean from ExtraPetite.com and I have a tutorial for you guys today. I want to show step by step how you can make this vintage inspired blusher birdcage veil and this jeweled sash belt, both of which I wore on my wedding day. You guys won't believe how easy these are to make. The materials only cost about $15 to $20 for each item and I mean this belt alone would probably be $1 to $200 at a bridal store. So whether you are a bride-to-be or you know someone who is, feel free to share this tutorial. And I've also linked in my post where I got all of my materials. Alright, let's get started. For the DIY beaded sash, first you need a piece of jeweled beaded applique. Again, I linked to the exact Etsy shop where I got this one from. Next, you need a length of good quality ribbon. Mine is a grow grain one which has a rigid texture. You can also use smooth satin ones of all different colors depending on the look that you're going for. I strongly suggest that you tie a ribbon around your waist into a bow and see how long that you want and then trim it. Mine ended up being around 49, 50 inches long. And after you trim your ribbon to a length and angle that you're happy with, use clear nail polish to seal the edges and prevent fraying. So mine's already done here, but to actually attach the applique to the sash, it is so, so easy. These are iron-on appliques, so all you need to do is lay it face down on your ironing board, lay your sash ribbon, the center of it, over it, and then iron over it. The heat will activate the adhesive. Now because this is your wedding day and you want absolutely no wardrobe malfunctions, what I did is to just use needle and thread and stitch little bits and pieces, maybe the corners, to the ribbon, as you can see I did here, to make extra, extra sure that it's gonna stay secure. And that's it, you now have a gorgeous sash belt that costs around $20. All right, so for materials for the veil, you will need about a yard of nine inch wide Russian netting. This is a more open weave and a little bit stiffer than regular tulle, which will really help the birdcage veil hold its shape. It comes in lots of colors, this is white, the champagne ivory which I wore to coordinate with my wedding gown. Next you'll need needle and thread, a color of thread to match the Russian netting color that you choose. And then you'll need a hair comb. So I'm going to be doing the tutorial with this plastic comb because that's all I have right now but the one I actually wore was made with a metal wire comb which I think I prefer for holding better in your hair. First, we're going to trim the length of our netting and also cut two corners. Mine's already cut, so just pretend it's still a rectangle. We want 9 inches wide by 24 inches long. The netting likes to shift around, so I found the easiest way to measure and cut it is to lay it flat and weigh it down with something, like quarters. Next, cut out two corners. I measured up 4.5 inches on the short side and about 5 inches along the longer side. We're going to use needle and thread and stitch in and out of the netting, starting from one upper corner, down along the U-shape, and finishing at the other upper corner. Start by threading your needle and securing one end of the thread to an upper corner of the netting by tying a knot. Double or triple tie this knot to make it extra secure. Next, simply stitch in and out of the netting holes, staying as close as possible to the edge of the material. Please excuse how ratty my netting edges look here. I had to take apart a few times for this tutorial. Keep on stitching in and out, repeating the step along all of the U-shape, remembering to stay close to the edges. Once you have gone all the way around, hold on to the needle end of the thread and it's time to scrunch. We're going to push the netting until all the U scrunches up into something that is small enough to fit exactly on the length of the hair comb. Gently push the netting along the thread to scrunch, trying to keep the gathering evenly distributed. Now that you have something that fits on the comb, trim the loose end of the thread and tie a very secure knot to keep the netting and scrunching in place. Lastly, we're going to attach the netting to the comb. Tie one end of your thread in a knot around the comb and start stitching the netting to the comb by wrapping your thread in and out of the teeth. I didn't do the neatest job, but this is what the back side of the comb will approximately look like when you're done. Because the scrunched edge of the netting may look messy, you can cover it with a thin ribbon or a trim. I left mine as is because my hair concealed most of the edges. Also, I used a floral comb layered on top of it. 
All right, so here's the finished birdcage veil. So when you first try this on, you might feel a little bit wonky with it flapping around. I know I sure did, but worry not. You just need about one to two bobby pins to secure down the sides and get the look that you want. I like to wear mine a little bit over one eye, asymmetrical, but you can play around and figure out what works best for you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you end up trying it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.